Hey guys, so we're at Costco right now. I'm about to run in and do some grocery shopping. My fridge is practically empty, which I love. It just makes me feel good to use up all my food. Don't let it go to waste, you know, don't waste money. And then when it starts to look a bit depleted, we will go and fill it up with a lot of the same foods I like, but also some new things. So I get a chance to think about, you know, what have I not had in a while? And I'll grab some of that too. Mainly here just to grab meat because I like to do that in bulk. It's cheaper at Costco go and then I can freeze a bunch of it. I'll grab a few other things as well like nuts, cheese, and then I'm gonna go to a local like indoor farmers market place that has really fresh you know vegetables and that way I can get like just a few cucumbers, tomatoes and not have to get it in bulk here. Then when I get home I'm going to cut up stuff and divide it up and just show you guys what I like to do to kind of prepare for the week and then we'll do a meal prep as well. Let's head in. All right, here's everything we got. So I got four bags of the cheese crisps because they were on sale today. And then I got macadamia nuts, some mixed nuts, some of these protein bars. They only have two grams of sugar, so it's not too bad. Then I got some deli meats. This is like a rosemary garlic ham, sounded good. And some more of those salami cheese kits. I know it's not the healthiest with preservatives and nitrates, but sometimes I'm just in the mood for that. Got romaine lettuce, some Dubliner cheese, ribeye steaks, avocados, chicken, and frozen shrimp. Under the cart, we have some bottled water, bully sticks for the dogs, and some sparkling water. At the other store, I picked up some plum tomatoes, zucchini, cucumber, bell pepper, lemon, and dill. I recommend when you get home from shopping, take a few extra minutes to divide up all your meats and vegetables. This is gonna make it much easier to cook and meal prep later. For the chicken, it was already divided in those pouches, so it was pretty easy. For the steaks, I cut them all in half and then wrap each one with foil. I have these Ziploc bags already in the freezer labeled with the type of meat that is gonna be in there. So I put all the steaks in and those are ready to go in the freezer. While I don't typically cut up vegetables for salads ahead of time, I do prep the lettuce because that can be a hassle later. There's six heads of romaine here. I'm gonna cut up three and leave the other three to prep later. It might shock you that one person can finish all this lettuce before it goes bad, but the trick is keeping out moisture, which can be done by putting an absorbent paper towel like Bounty in the bag before you put it in the fridge. I also find that a salad spinner keeps the lettuce more crisp. This one is from Progressive. It was a gift from a friend, but any salad spinner will do. I like to cut my lettuce thin so the dressing can spread more evenly and I find it easier to eat this way. After you rinse the lettuce, you spin it, and you can see just how much water comes off. I've cut up all three heads of romaine and put it in this gallon Ziploc bag with a paper towel on the bottom and on top to help absorb all that moisture and then left the bag a little open to air out in the fridge. So it's later in the day now, we're gonna go ahead and do the meal prep. I am prepping two portions of those steaks just to pair with some salad or veggies, and then two chicken breasts that I've butterflied, and we're gonna make a buffalo chicken dip out of that. And then I'm also gonna make you some tuna fish salad just to pair with salad as well. So here's the steaks. I'm having one of them for dinner. I like to put a little blue cheese on my steak. I'm pairing this with a salad with a little bit of ranch, one plum tomato, and some of this everything bagel seasoning. I definitely recommend this seasoning. It helps your salad have a really nice flavor and then you don't really need much dressing. And then the other steak we're gonna save in the fridge for another meal. For our buffalo chicken dip, I'm gonna use some blue cheese, some buffalo wing sauce, and eight ounces of cream cheese. You can also use ranch if you don't like blue cheese. So I heated up the cream cheese in the microwave a little bit to soften it. I'm adding about maybe a fourth cup of buffalo sauce and a fourth cup of blue cheese. You don't have to be super strict on the measurements. Mix that all together. I would prefer some cheddar cheese to put inside, but I only have some of this white American, so we're just gonna use that and then put a layer on top in the end. For the chicken, I'm using a food processor. I really recommend this to get the chicken really finely chopped and it's gonna make your dip more even. We're gonna use the food processor later as well for our tuna salad. So you mix that all together and then I'm also adding some crushed red pepper just to give it an extra kick. Then we're gonna put that cheese on top and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. While our dip is cooking, we are gonna make some tuna fish salad. So we are just adding some tuna fish to the food processor just to finely chop it up. And this is gonna change your tuna fish game up, guys. You are gonna love it. And guess who else loves tuna fish? 
You can also chop up vegetables really finely in a food processor, which is great when making tuna fish salad or chicken salad because you can add a bunch of flavor to your tuna fish and this changed it for me. It is so good. I'm using some jalapeno, dill, onion, green bell pepper, and some pickles. If you added tomatoes to this, you could also make a salsa. So I'm just adding that to the tuna fish and then we're also going to add about like a heavy one fourth cup of mayonnaise, mix that up and that is ready to go. It tastes so good and we'll cover it and put it in the fridge. All right, so our dip is done and it looks delicious. I just love the way cheese looks when it's all browned on top. And a low carb option for dipping is cucumber slices. This might seem weird, but it is very delicious. So definitely give it a try. And you can also use these cheese crisps as well. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some tips. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.